What's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. Guys, it's Wednesday, March 11th at 1130 a.m. And we're about to log into here and check out our Clash base. Guys, I don't know what's going on in there because for a couple of reasons. First of all, we just finished Clan War League. I have no idea if we got first or last. I mean, I don't think we got last, but you know, you never know. Guys, let's go check this out. Fingers crossed. Here we go. By the way, you guys like my background? <laughs> I love that, dude. It's so sick. That was the moment when we did our cannons, right? Oh! 445 medals from Clan War Leagues. Guys, does that mean we're full? Oh my god, I bet we're full. I bet we're completely full. Oh my god! We did it perfectly, dude! Look at that! So we're within, what is that? 30 two medals from full. Anyway, guys, you want to do some class today? Cool. Let's get in here. Now, we, we have a bunch of stuff we could do with those medals, but, I mean... Are we gonna do that today? Probably not. Because guys, if we're gonna do those medals, I think we should either save them for the next update or something, or like, I don't know, a special occasion. There's not really much we can do over here except for the builder base, which, you know, I'm not in a hurry to max that. But guys, we gotta check out the actual Clan War League itself and see how we did in there. Hang on. I'm so nervous to hit this. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, this is what I'm really freaked out about. Dude, we got we got fourth? Anyway, guys, what do you want to do now? I mean, we don't have anything we can do back here, obviously. We, we're trying to max this base, but, you know, we don't have any builders anyway. So we could do some raids, we could go to our other base, or we could do some war attacks. I mean, we could check out some war attacks. What do you guys want to do? Dude, I, I got to think about this. Hang on. Hey, guys, you want to watch me get this three star? Hang on, hang on. I, I want to put the desk down. I want to chill today. I want to try anyway. Hang on. <laughs> Lulu, we're going down. Isn't this sick? Okay, here we go. Boom. Dude, this one was so fun. So for this raid, guys, I didn't really know what to do. And you know what kept happening to me this week? Dude, I would come to the war within the last like six hours and all the bases would be, you know, claimed. Like everyone had either done their attacks or they had already claimed a base. So I got the like bottom of the barrel. I got whatever base nobody wanted to attack. But then this one was the final in the final round, it was the base that nobody wanted. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. But dude, I had no idea how to attack it. I was like, what am I gonna do here? I mean, I know I can get the town hall, you know, it's right there. But this idea came from one of my client mates. Actually, a lot of them do this. They do the blimp thing. Look at how sick this is. Look at this. Boom. Are you kidding? It's so awesome. Word, man. Yeah, I don't know if we needed that free spell, but it's all good. That was sick. So guys, look at this over here. This is gonna be cool too. We can drag everybody over to this corner, take them out. This is fun. It's gonna take like 20 seconds, so we'll see in 20 seconds, but yeah, it was cool. We'll get a little topper with <laughs> our water until then. Look, I got this old, I got this old jelly jar for my cup today. Lily, you want some water? Here. All right, how we doing? Okay, just in time, cool. So guys, we got uh, through all that and I don't even think we used, did we use a rage spell? I can't quite remember. I think we got through it with mostly just a poison. Maybe we used a rage, but we got a bunch of spells left, so we're good. All right, so on the other side, we dropped the king. We didn't really have that much left. And you guys know, normally when I do a raid, I'm using the king and the siege over on the other side to clear the corner. But this time, you know, we used a different siege so we didn't have a, we didn't have a siege barracks, so we're just gonna let the queen and the king do their thing, and they're already, I mean, this is incredible, they've already gotten so much, dude. So much. And by the way, guys, I, I meant to say this, but you guys should probably never take war advice from me. Like, there's so many good clans, uh, not clans, there's so many good, uh, sort of clan war YouTubers out there, and I can, I, you know, I'll, I'll shout some out, uh, in the comments below, in the description below, like some of my friends, but dude, you know, we just sort of have fun. So I wouldn't say you should ever do what we do, but this honestly was a fun attack and it worked pretty good. So you could try this. If you guys are a high level, even this would probably even work at like town hall 11 or town hall 12 as well. It's just a great attack, you know? But anyway, there it is guys. We got through to the final edge of the base and I'm pretty much at this point, I was like, oh my God, how did we get this? How did we get this three star? Cause I, I didn't really know if we were gonna get a three on this. It's not like I was trying necessarily. I was just trying to get a good two star and I knew we would basically get that, right? Like if you can, you know, if you can just walk up to the town hall and take it out, well, you know, you're probably not gonna miss that. And then if you've got, you know, 50% more of the base, you already got a two star, so you're good. And so whatever happens after that is just good luck. You know, if you get it, you get it. If not, you still got the two star. This is perfect. 
Anyway, guys, uh, is the microphone too far away? I'm, I'm trying to like experiment with this. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to put some soundproofing on the walls because there's a wall right there. It's like a flat wall. And if I shout too much, I feel like it echoes a little bit. So if the microphone's too far away from me, we're going to hear echo. We pr it probably doesn't even show up on the recording, but you know, I'm trying to make it good. Cool. All right, guys, here we go. So there's one that we got, but that was kind of a I feel like that was kind of a boring one. I feel like that was kind of a lower level base. Let me go back and see if we got any others. Oh my God. How are there so many Beaker three stars? This is wild, man. This is wild. Okay, so we got here, guys. This was a really fun one. This was a really fun one. So I got some advice from one of my friends on this one as to like what, you know, what I should do because I wasn't sure how to get the town hall and then actually get the three star as well because the town hall is in such an inconvenient place. And dude, Warden Walk. We never do Warden Walk. So again, like I wouldn't have such good ideas if I didn't have friends that were like, hey, try this, try this, you know? Because I think we all do this. We get stuck in our own habits. And when it comes to Clash, that's, it can be good. Dude, if you use the same army for like, I don't know, five years, you're probably gonna be pretty good with it. But at the same time, you might not try new stuff. So anyway, over here, guys, I totally scrubbed out. Like, look, we had, we had a couple of witches that were gonna try to, uh, I don't know, do something. They did nothing. But in here, guys, the warden walked it really good. Why did you not take out that inferno? Dude, that's what I don't get about the warden. So sometimes he's so dirty. And then right there, he was one hit away from killing the... You kill me sometimes, dude. You really do. Anyway, guys, let's get in here. Um, I want to kind of zoom out here and see what's going on. So I think the... I think the Yetis actually got the Inferno that was over there in that left corner. We had some balloons that were gonna get it. We didn't even need them. Oh my God, and this was my favorite part, dude. Again, we did the blimp, but it was for a different purpose this time. It was to get the town hall. It was like to snipe the town hall after the fact. I loved it, dude. Look at that. That was so fun. Huh. So anyway, guys, let's zoom out a little bit, see everything that's going on here. I kind of... Oh crap, I hate how that happens when I pick up the iPad. I want to like pick up the iPad and, and rock out a little more, but whatever. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this one. I think we had a couple, oh no, that's not it for this one, dude. I remember this one now. So this was like four or five days ago now, so I kind of forgot what was gonna happen, but dude, this one got intense. You guys have got to see this. Hey, by the way, do the lights look right? I just set up another light over there because I didn't think we had enough light. I don't know, man, hang on. Is that? No, that's too much. I don't know. Anyway, we'll deal with it in a second. But guys, look at this. So we're coming around the corner here with two dead heroes. Like, they're almost dead. Oh my god. I have no hope in these heroes here. Like, they're definitely gonna die. You know what actually saved us? Watch this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That is so wild. I cannot believe that this worked. And then we hit that bomb right there. I was sure we we're gonna be dead. Watch this. <laughs> Dude, so psyched about that one. So psyched. That one felt really good because it was a good base. It may have been number 13 in the enemy clan. That doesn't matter. It was a good base. It had some good defenses. It had some great walls. The thing is the walls didn't really matter because the, the troops we had and you know, the blimp and everything. We didn't even have to really mess with the walls, which is really nice. I, I really think if you guys see a base where you can walk in like that, don't even worry about the walls, you know? Just have, you know, like we had some balloons that we were gonna use to snipe the Inferno if we had to, but we didn't even end up needing it. So, you know, and the Warden, another example where like we could snipe in all the way in there and get that Inferno with the Warden. All right, guys, we got time for one more today. Let's get Lulu some Crunchos. Here, buddy, you gotta get your head out of there. You are such a goof. Okay, cool. So guys, let's go out here and we gotta look at somebody else. I, I wish I could look at every single one of my clanmates amazing three stars like Maisie. You probably got a ton. Actually, let me look at the, the top people, clan. Dude, I just wanted to look at this before we go. We're gonna watch one more raid and then we're gonna peace out, but look at this. So I was number four in our clan and we got fourth in the whole war thing. So, you know, I guess I'm just very extremely average kind of dude. I'll take it. No, I mean, four is amazing, dude. And that's the thing, our clan getting fourth in, in this clan war league, that's amazing too. I feel like earlier in the, in the video, I was shocked when I saw that we got four and I didn't point out the fact that that's amazing. Like being able to hang in champion two is good enough already. I am so proud of these noobs. Anyway, guys, um, you know, I'm the biggest noob of all. But guys, look at Bala. 
Talk about noobs. Like, Bala, you're making us all look bad. I just want to point out, uh, everybody send Bala a friend request. Like, just flood that dude with friend requests right now, please. Uh, so let's go check out some of his raids. Hang on. He's, he's going to be super happy about that. Uh, okay, guys, when did I see him do an amazing... I saw him do an amazing raid. I think it was in the most recent round. Um... And by the way, guys, there's so many awesome threes. We could never look at all the good threes here. I'm, I, I wish I could show every one of my clanmates good three stars. Oh my God, I think this was it. I think this was it. I cannot believe. Okay, watch this raid, and then you are going to say to yourself, I could have done that. And I think that's the most dangerous thing of all. I think when you see a good attacker and you see them do a raid that looks easy, it makes you feel stronger. And you're like, okay, I can do that. And you know, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can copy a raid and it'll go right, but not always, man. And I feel like with me, I've never been really good at, I mean, sometimes I can look at somebody else's raid and, and do it, but really I, I only, you know, I only learn when I do it myself a few times. So I don't even know if I tried to do this on the same exact base, if it would have worked. Shouts to Bala. So anyway, guys, uh, we're starting out with a warden walk again, just like we just did. This is perfect too. Yeah, dude, so I've been noticing, like, when you do this Warden Walk, if there's nothing around, it works so good. If you're taking on stuff at, like, you know... Okay, right there. You got one cannon shooting you, you maybe got another Tesla shooting you at some point. He, he can handle that. He can't handle very much, but he can handle that. And so, it's so valuable, because he just, you know, slowly creeps on up there. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Oh, Goon King. What's up, dude? How you doing? He's such a goon. That, uh... That skin especially, that should be called the goon skin. So guys, over here, such a good funnel here. Like, are you kidding? And by the way, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a, uh, what's the thing called? <laughs> wall wrecker? I always forget the name of it because we don't use it much anymore. I don't see wall wreckers very often and they're so good. Look at them. I mean, they, they tank for you, they break walls for you, and they carry troops for you all the way into the heart of the base. They're really good and I, I mean, I should probably, I should probably mess with them again. Dude, I, I, oh my God, we didn't even see it. But one of the, one of my favorite parts of this raid was how, okay, I wish I could go back and rewind it and show you guys, but the King, you, so you guys saw how the King was going all the way down the wall here. He got all the way down there. Bala hits the, the ability at just the right time. So he kills the enemy queen. See right there? Like they basically killed each other, which was, you know, very beautiful and poetic. And then over here guys, we got the bats. Just crazy. I mean, I don't even see anybody use bats anymore, and it's it's their fault. It's the it's the scatter shots fault. Um, yeah, <laughs> just ridiculous, man. Made it look so easy. I mean, just stupid. And this base wasn't super high level. I do see a couple things that aren't max, but at the same time, who cares? Like, it, what? This was just crazy. This base is gone. This base is dead. Very dead. So guys, um, did he just stunt that freeze? Wait, see, I want to be able to rewind, man. Sometimes you, you, you don't see what happened until it's like too late, man. I wish I could rewind. I think he just stunted a couple of freezes, dude. What a boss. Hmm. Anyway, guys, as I said, I would love to be able to show all the amazing threes. And I, I just want to shout out all my clan mates. We did so good this time. And like, I think we could actually get promoted to champion one someday. I don't know if it's, you know, a good thing for our mental health, but look at the same time, guys, so proud of these, all these noobs and, uh, Bala, you know, I think it's a good thing that we showed this raid and any raid of his, cause he's, he's almost like the MVP of, of the war. Um, the way we do it, what are you pushing on Lou? <laughs> The way we do it, guys, like, so we rotate in and out. So, like, I sat out one round. Some people sit out one or two rounds so other people can get into the war. But whoever is doing the best, you know, stays in the war. And obviously, Bala did all seven rounds because he was just killing it. It's awesome, man. So, shout out to everybody, guys. We did so good, and I'm so proud of you guys. And you guys out there, thank you for coming out and checking it out. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for coming out. As we said, we love you guys. Be sure to leave two for Lulu. Let us know how you're doing in the comments below. And we will see you right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab, where I don't know what we're going to be doing, man. We got three days left on this. That's a beautiful thing, though. That's a beautiful thing. And we that's our final thing, dude. That's it. So, cool. Get ready. We'll see you guys then. Peace.